Uh, also a Falco. I love to see his Falco. If uh, he finds success in his ga first game, he may switch on over. But we got Ness coming out from Jamestown. Or actually from his big kahuna. Jamestown is just his in-game tag. I think he named the uh, go for Jamestown as your tag. Big kahuna. Hopefully uh, causes some big waves if he's able to beat Larry here. But so far Larry's doing a nice little job. Okay, Larry just swinging, man. He really has no regard for this oh. man right now. See, he already going for the charge down smash. It's good, too, because your opponent doesn't get the right tech. You can just fall with the down smash. And the just take the yeah, he's basically just putting the onus on his opponent right now. If he's like, if you're not going to punish all these, like, really unorthodox options, like these, like, wild, crazy things, and I'm just going to keep swinging until you, until you start adapting, and then I'll, you know, adapt my own counterplay. Oh, see. Nap, dude, he almost died from across the stage. Big Kahuna was like, yeah, let's get it. Oh, dude, blow him up. All right. Go use the dash dance. I like the fact that he's kind of respacing the way how Ness works. Ness is actually a character that Larry has struggled with before. He's actually lost the throw back in Smash 4. He did yeah. at Civil War, I remember that. All right, but there's that forward tilt cleaning up that first stock swipe right. We like those, taking KOs. Good forward air, forward nearly air. able to come in. Looking like Sheik out here, gets the dash attack puts. Big Kahuna here, back at disadvantage. But you know what, since I want to be back on the stage, I'm not done messing around with my food. I want to tune in a little bit more, get the down throw, and almost gets the back air. Yeah, it's like you said, Vance, he is kind of just like swinging a lot, and you know, getting these hits in particular that send into tumble, or just hoping to get some sort of tech chase if his opponent isn't ready for it. Like, you can see he's not really getting the timing on his uh, techs or his air dodges to the ground. Yeah. Sometimes I do feel like that's what separates some wolf mates. How good are you in the tech chase? Because you can lead to early stock KOs, but also understanding how your opponent's going to be hacked with tech chase. Reading if the habit is tech roll, tech in, or just normal neutral tech. All right, here's a back throw. Gets caught by an up air. All right, up smash too. But uh, is Larry answering back with an up smash of his own? He's only at 43% on this stock number two. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see something saucy though from either player, man. I'd love to see some some uh, magnet combos from Big Kahuna. Well, that's the thing too, because he hasn't been able to go for any of those side stagnants combos. So because one thing that Larry has been having over the Luna is oh, the aerial approach. It. Oh my that, god. No, he's nice. still got the upbeat and he goes to make sure. But, yeah, I was like, he, he should, he would have made it back, but I had a feeling like the position that he got put in that he, Larry was just going to go for the double dunk. Yeah. And sure enough, that's exactly what played out before your eyes. Larry's setting up with the forward air into the down air and then getting the edge guard as Big Kahuna was so vulnerable out there. All right, well, game two coming out here for Larry. He did a really excellent game one. For Big Kahuna, it's kind of hard to like challenge Larry with side stalls because Larry is the one kind of taking advantage of a lot of the skies. And even then, the one thing Larry's been really good at is the ground game here. Gets a parry on the forward air. So good to hit for him to actually just try to punish immediately off because then he kind of respects, backs off a little bit, respects it. And of course, it's kind of hard to parry. Parry one hit and then the multi hit is the rest that hit you. Uh, I gotta play more like more like Larry sometimes. Touch ace? Just, not nah, just like belligerent. Just go in. Just don't go even, in. Just yeah. don't even care. Well, that's the one thing that Larry like knows is sometimes if you give Ness too much opportunity to set up, like with PK fire, side stalls, you're really just giving him the keys to victory. So sometimes oppressing your opponent is the, the wave. Absolutely. I mean, that's why that's what puts me on toe when I feel like I can't press any buttons. Yeah. But here we go. Stock number one already deleted from Larry. Goes forward air to neutral air, covering both sides with the forward tilts. Okay, I w if you would have got that, I would have shook in your hand and said, okay, you're cool, kid. You, you got the highlight reel. But unfortunately, Larry was not going to oh, fall for no. it, and you went too low. Big Kahuna, where are you going? You can still get this. You got one stock before, you can get another one. 99% on Larry here. Kind of just fading back. 
looking for these openings, trying to approach with Nair and Fair. Back throw is not going to be enough. He uses Wolf Flash, get back to the ledge. Great neutral air out of shield from Pikahuna, and he gets the edge guard. Please make it back to the stage. All right. Let me see you clean up another one. All right, yeah, he is air dodging quite a lot, which is just allowing Larry to press uh, the attack button in any direction to get these punishes on those. Good back air. Nice. Excellent landing on the back air. And really can use, oh, and there's yeah. the down smash, closing it out with the That's two That's so stock. weird because most most players' habits would be like, okay, I just got blasted here on the vertical plane. I want to go for the low recovery. But unfortunately, like, he just chose the same area, and then Lara's like, fine, if you really